What's happening guys, so Nate back here and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up multiple pixels on one Shopify store. All of that coming up right now. So many of you are asking me, how do you do it? How do you set up multiple pixels on one store? You say you can have mini merch collections with one pixel. How do you fire a pixel for a group of products? How do you fire pi multiple pixels so you can have one pixel for this collection, one pixel for this collection? How you can have dog pixels, you can have single design pixels, you can have all the pixels you want on a single store. It seems so easy to me, but I guess a lot of people don't know how to do it, so I wanted to make a quick little video showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to do it. Now, the funny thing is, there's step-by-step -step tutorials how to do this already if you just listen to me. When I tell you to go get the, the app that does this, the app that does this is called Trackify. He's got step-by-step -step videos for this already. But whatever, I'll make a quick I'll make a quick tutorial for this. So let me pull up my screen share so that I can actually get show you this stuff, right? Okay, so step one number one is you want to install the Trackify app. The Trackify app, if you don't already have it, is right here. It looks like it looks like this one. Trackify Pixel app and Facebook audience builder. Okay, first. Go get that app. It's, I don't know how much it costs. I think I pay $30 a month. I don't really know. Actually, I, I, I think he's increased the prices. Have no idea what it costs now. So anyways, okay, so definitely get that app if you wanna work with multiple pixels on one store. In the future, I'm gonna make a video about how you work with multiple pixels outside of a store where you can use sell on funnels and you can put pixels into different sales funnels. I'm gonna show you that too, but this video is how to have multiple pixels on one single store. So the first thing is get that app. The next thing you wanna do is go to a product. So here's a product, your awesome dollar sign wallet case, okay? So awesome dollar wallet size. And the first thing you wanna do, so this is the second thing, okay, actually. The second thing you wanna do, and not go to collections, you wanna add a tag. It doesn't matter, but you have to call it underscore track track rr underscore track, okay? Underscore, and then this is the part you can type whatever you want. If I wanna uh, niche, I wanna put multiple products, whether that's multiple designs of wallet case or a mug, a wallet case, a watch that all have Dash Hound Dog, right? Or Husky Dog, I can make a Husky, uh, a Husky tag. I can make a general dog tag of just dog products. I can make Winter Wonderland. I can make whatever. So uh, basically, it does not matter what you type in this box. What you're doing is you're putting a tag onto this product and this product is now part of that tag. And then if you want to organize, you classify other products with the same tag and what's gonna happen is you're building a classification however you want. There's no right and wrong way to do this. You just build a classification around niches or around products. So if I wanted to do wallet case as a product and fire only one pix, fire a single pixel for only wallet cases, no matter what the design, I have maybe 200 wallet cases on my store and then I want that one pixel to fire for just wallet cases and then a different pixel to fire, right? If this was a watch, watch, right, watch, then this is how you do it. But then you have to make sure you add this RR track, RR underscore track underscore watch to all of the watches on your store, okay? Not just the one product, all of them. And for example, on this one, if I was gonna classify wallet case, okay, I'm setting up all my wallet cases with a single pixel. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm doing it only one time on this video with only one product. However, you wanna do it on all of the products if that's your classification. If you're gonna classify with cat lovers or dog lovers or whatever, do it for whatever products and whatever designs are cats, cat design or cat products on your store, okay? This is 100% up to you. I just wanna make it clear. You make the organization, the classification how you want. I'm gonna just do that one product right now. So what I have wallet case here. Okay, boom, wallet case, I hit save. It's saving, it's saving, it's saving. It's saving, it's saving. 
still saving. I don't know if I have slow internet. I don't know what's wrong, whatever. Okay, so while this is saving, I'm gonna go over to what is called the product page for this. Okay, so the product page, I'm gonna refresh. I'm gonna refresh the product page. Okay, so I refresh the product page just so I know that the new tag is gonna fire on that product. I did it in Canada window just so that, I don't know, the cache is clear or whatever. So I, I refresh the page. Now I believe there's a view content on this product. It should be, you know, it should fire for that tag. Okay, so then they're gonna go to the, you're gonna go to the um, Trackify app, which looks like this, okay? And the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna go to Trackify and you're gonna go to tags. I think you have to have premium mode for this. Trackify Premium, it allows you to add multiple pixels to a store. But here, let me show you this. So tags, I'm gonna go to tags and we're gonna refresh that. And there should be RR underscore track underscore wallet case. Okay, so there we go, it showed up, still loading. Okay, so here we go. This, these are the tags that are RR track. All of the RR track tags that are on my store is showing up here inside of Trackify, okay? So I got RR underscore track wallet case. That's the one that, and then here's the count, how many times the view content fired. So I refreshed the page twice. View content fired twice because you saw me refresh the page twice, okay? If I had that on multiple products, anytime those other products were viewed, the content, view contents were viewed or they, the products were added to the cart, you would see the numbers here. So that's how you know these tags are working based on whatever products they're on, okay? So now, how do you do pixels uh, for this RR tag? So now you know the tag's working, you head over to this pixel tab, and you can see right here, RR underscore track underscore wallet case has no pixels assigned to it. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna edit this, and then I can paste whatever my Facebook pixel is, that I wanna optimize for people that buy wallet cases, I'm gonna put that pixel here. Maybe, maybe I make a new pixel for my in my ad account. Use the main pixel, you can add another pixel, whatever. But these are extra pixels here. This tab is for extra pixels. If you already have a main pixel, well, you would have a main pixel on your store already. These are extra pixels on your store, okay? Not just the main one. The main one's always gonna fire, but this is an extra pixel that fires for certain products or certain situations, however you have it set up. Right now, I have it set up on one single product, but I, I had named it Wallet Case, so technically I should set up on all my Wallet Case products. And then whenever someone views the Wallet Case or adds a Wallet Case to the product cart, or buys a wallet case, the, the tag's gonna fire, and then this pixel, if I set it up right here, uh, I can pick a uh, Facebook pixel name. So what basically what you name the pixel here, whatever you want, so I'm just gonna name it RR underscore track underscore wallet case. It doesn't have to have the RR underscore track, right? It doesn't have to have that name. I'm just keeping it simple. You name it the same thing as the tag name just to be the same, right? And so I hit my save and boom, now it's gonna try to fire. It says this, even though this is not a pixel, it will attempt to fire that pixel ID uh, when this product is viewed. So how do I do that? Let's refresh the page again and let's view this. It says no pixels found on this page. Let's, let's try that again. It, well, this, it should have my normal pixels. Some, something's not working on the incognito mode. Uh, let's try, let's try this, no pixel. So I think I broke it or something with the, I think I broke it with, the, with this thing. So I'm gonna delete this one. I wanna see if I can get it back. So maybe don't put a fake pixel in there. Okay, so I deleted this one. I deleted this one. Now I wanna make sure my pixels are firing. I refresh the page. Oh, there we go. So you can see it fired my pixel. So basically I put a fake pixel in there and it broke it. <laughs> but if I put a real pixel in there, it would it would have fired, it would fire the view content of the main pixel and it would have another one underneath for the second pixel called wallet case and that would have fired the second pixel on this product. That's how that works, okay? You can set up as many, um, where is it? You can set up as many tags as you want 
and you can assign each of those tags a new pixel inside of Trackify and you can have as many pixels on your Shopify store as you want to track and optimize however you want on your store. Now, let me preface and say, to keep things simple, I personally like single product stores with multiple niches and then this way I don't have to do this. Even though I have this set up on some things, you can see here that I was messing with having single country pixels uh, I had a couple of United States versions, Canada, uh, UK, Australia, worldwide. I was messing around with that recently, seeing if, if I can optimize better by having single countries. And I will tell you this, the, what do you call it? I'll tell you the consensus on that later in a future video, still testing and whatever, just make sure. And I did this test before a few years ago and it did make a difference. I wanted to test it again to see if that still holds. I don't know the answer yet, so just bear with me at that. But that's why I have RR tracks based on countries right here, because I was testing pixels based on country. That's the end of this video, guys. That's how you add multiple pixels to your store. And like I said, I will show you how to set up multiple pixels inside different sales funnels on a future video, how to set up that. That's my preferred way of selling is selling with funnels because it converts way, way higher. I'm going to give you guys goods and show you how to do all of that. So stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.